like me, you've probably accumulated quite a few masks by now and are looking to get rid of a few, especially now that mandates have eased in most places. Hopefully you haven't tossed them out yet because in today's video, I'll show you a few ways you can go about upcycling them. Of course, not all cloth masks are created equally, so you may have to do some workarounds with what you do have. I'll be reusing the two styles you see here, and these are all samples I have left over from my business. Before we get started, I want to quickly mention that this video only applies to washable cloth face masks. Now let's jump right in. Masks can be reused in the same way as elbow or knee patches to mend holes or for reinforcement. In my case, it's just purely decorative. Really, either style mask could work for this. Let me know which one you prefer. I went with the fitted style and all I did was sew them on by hand using a simple running stitch. I also sewed the base of the curve to give the patch added structure. Here is what that looks like. Now I didn't have enough mass to complete this project, but I want to show you another super easy way you can reuse them. For this, you'll need three or more masks. I simply folded the center of the mask to create a bow, and all you'd need to do is sew the back to secure it. For demonstration purposes only, I use pins to hold them in place. Next, you can go ahead and lay them out however you like on a shirt or even a dress before sewing them on. Here I have two layout ideas. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I did two versions, one for each style mask. For this, I used two fitted ones. To create the overlay, I pinned the masks over the bust area, overlapping them in the center front. But before sewing them on, I got the idea to add some cording where the ear loops used to be to complete the look. After threading it through the mask, I made sure both sides were the same length, then hand sewed it in place at the shoulders. To finish it off, I tied them into a bow. If you're wondering how I went about sewing it all together, here's a close up. And here's the finished look. For the second version, I used two pleated masks with one ear loop still attached, plus an old t-shirt. I started by cutting three strips, one five inches wide for the bra band and two an inch wide for the straps. To make easy no-sew spaghetti straps, all I did was hold the strips from both ends and pulled taut. As for the bra band, I opened it up at the center front, folded it in half with wrong sides together, then tucked the mask inside around the middle of the band along with the seam allowance. Before sewing, I figured out the placement of the straps and tucked them into the band as well. To keep the mask laying flat, I had to do a little work around and so I came up with this double strap design you see here. In the back, I added a couple grommets on each side and finished it off with a piece of matching ribbon. For this, I used four pleated masks, a circle cut from leather scrap for the base, grogain ribbon, grommets and cording. First I sewed all the masks together. How I arrived at the size base I needed was I divided the width of the mask by pi which is 3.14 then rounded off the total to the nearest whole number. After all the masks were sewn together I attached it to the base with the right sides facing. I did use a heavy duty thread and leather needle when sewing and I also went very slow. Once that was done I added the shoulder strap. To do that, I first wrapped the raw edges in a piece of grain ribbon to prevent it from unraveling, then sewed each side in place. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I calculated and marked the spacing for each grommet along the top of the bag. Then I cut away the marked holes before installing the grommets. To finish it off, I cut another piece of cord for the drawstring, then fed it through the grommets and knotted the ends. And there you have it! Four, well, five ways you can upcycle your old face masks into something fashionable. Let me know down below which project you would attempt. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time.